so I want to thank Mr. Katz for his co-sponsorship on Bill 1616. I do think it's very important that as we're uh, considering tax increases and um, adopting uh, yet again a $5 billion budget, and um, as this council, including this council member, responds to requests from the community that we uh, spend even more in certain priority areas than the county executive recommended, that we also seek ways to save money. And um, I, I recognize that um, the issue of domestic partners has been addressed in negotiated contracts, but um, I suspect that we're going to be asking our employee organizations to take another look at the negotiated contracts, and I think it's reasonable that we address this. When the county executive sent over a bill to expand domestic partner benefits, I felt I just couldn't in good conscience vote for it. Um, I'm a strong supporter of marriage equality. I'm delighted that gays and lesbians today have the same rights uh, that my wife and I have. And, um, and yet, given that fact, um, domestic partner benefits are no longer necessary. Times have changed. And indeed, I've received a very uh, supportive response uh, to this suggestion from the gay and lesbian community that, uh, at least friends of mine, I don't want to generalize, but individuals, uh, gay and gays and lesbians, who um, feel that domestic partner benefits were created for them and that uh, to expand it to um, heterosexual couples was not anticipated initially. It sort of morphed as these government spending programs often do, and then they become very difficult to get rid of, but I want to point out for my colleagues' benefit that Montgomery County Public Schools and the state of Maryland eliminated domestic partner benefits when same-sex marriage became legal. Uh, Prince George's County never had domestic partner benefits. Howard County repealed their same-sex domestic partner benefits when gay marriage was legalized. Arizona, Connecticut, Delaware, uh, city of Annapolis, um, all eliminated domestic partner benefits when same-sex marriage became legal. There are jurisdictions who still have them, but uh, this discussion is not unique to Montgomery County, and I hope we will, um, you know, make a, a wise choice. Um, and, of course, as my colleagues know, I'm a very uh, strong proponent of access to health care for all people, but under these circumstances, um, there are other ways to get health insurance. The exchanges are available under the Affordable Care Act, and individuals who truly love each other and have made a lifetime commitment to each other can get married. It's not my decision whether or not a couple gets married. That's a very personal choice. But for all taxpayers to subsidize uh, uh, health benefits for a couple that, for its own reasons, has decided not to get married, at some point I think we have to make uh, tough choices on priorities. I do want to point out that the bill that's being introduced today would not remove health insurance from anyone if there's a, a couple of uh, loving partners um, in the firefighters or police union, um, they would be uh, maintained in effect. It's a prospective legislation, so nobody would lose their health insurance under this measure. Councilmember Navarro today and consistently has been a great champion for equal rights and human rights. And um, I have so much appreciation for her service here on this council. And I was very, very pleased to co-sponsor and support. Well, I don't remember if I co-sponsored, but I certainly supported. I may have co-sponsored um, her legislation when she first got here that indicated that uh, domestic partner benefits were an important statement of equality and justice for couples that were unjustly denied the ability to get married. So that was the right thing to do at that time, very much so, and I supported it enthusiastically. But now times have changed, and we're happy that our society is, is more uh, understanding and, and uh, really welcomes the joy and happiness of couples that get married. And so, again, there just isn't any need for domestic partner benefits anymore. And I think that this is really just a house cleaning item. I, I don't think it ought to be controversial. Uh, we just ought to take care of um, this statutory provision regarding procurement. Thank, I thank my colleagues.